guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> I am playing Final Fantasy. Uh, it's like Blood Thrush or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't have to look at the title. And you guys can look at the title right now. But it's an online game. You guys can get a free trial if you look it up. And uh, yeah, free trial for 30 days. And I think it's like five dollars. It's called Final Fantasy. A realm reborn. So, log in with Slumpy Ray Breatherford. This world is currently filled. Thank you. Okay, so this one is close to home. Reward, 100 of those and 107 of those. Description, my own uh, perpetuous of the Colonial Canabri wants you to perform three tests that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. And accept that. Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventures Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To the end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to visit the Aetherit. The massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherit Plaza, not far from the Caroline Canopy. A device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherit plays a key role in your life of the ever wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is just touch its surface. A member of the Wood Wellers -weller, would be present to, future, to offer further instruction. For your second task, you are visiting the Lancers Guild. There is no better place to learn uh, the arts of the uh, pole arm. Speak with Jillian, and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. For your third and final task, I will ask you to visit the markets at the heart of the Old Gardenia's uh, commercial district. There, you should find we uh, weapons and armor, and all the various item items that, are that an adventurer might need on its travels. There is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Pars Montred and listen well to his counsel. The master march merchant can be uncooperative at times, uncooperative at times. So be sure to offer him one of my famous ale pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here is a batch not long ago, made not long ago. Here you are your tasks, Slumpy Ray. May no pizza guide your path. All right. Is that like a force awakens, like may the force be with you or some shit like that? Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to pro, uh, pro offer a help in need. I am certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can uh, confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm shattering importance, but prove your worth and build a reputation in time, and in time, folk will be more inclined to entrust you with the matters of moment. I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the Canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild, and are an invaluable source of advice for the Norfolk heroes seeking to gain or attend, uh, attain greatness.
and waves to me. Alright, let's start on our adventures. Quest accepted. Whew. This game is a lot of talking because apparently it doesn't have cutscenes. <laughs> It really doesn't. So that's one thing you guys would have to look forward if you going to, if you guys are going to play this game is it does not have cutscenes at all. It does not have cutscenes. Come on, load, 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 load. Come on, load. There's a car? Someone's put, there's a car? What the fuck? Is this, there we go, I was gonna like saying, is this thing gonna fucking load? Main menu. The main menu grants quick and easy access to the most of the game's main features. For example, selecting character under character opens a window search uh, containing your character's various attributes and containing are currently equipped gear. Selecting journal under duty displays a list of current and completed uh, quests and uh, level uh, Libby quests. If you wish to customize the game's various settings, including key building or key binding, HUD layout, and system configuration, they all can be accessed via system. Select active help to redisplay these tutorial messages. Okay, so a crescent moon icon, icon will appear to be the right, uh, the right of your experience bar whenever you have entered a sanctuary. While in this special area, you will acquire a rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. Okay. All experiences, all experience earned through battle, crafting, and gathering while under the benefit of the rest and bonus will increase by 50%. Your currently rested bonus is displayed on the top of the dark orange bar. Or, yeah, shows... Blah, on the top of your experience bar. The dark orange bar shows how much experience can be earned before the bonus fades. If the blue bar is blue, and in case your bonus will carry over to the next level. The navigation. Select map. Selecting map from under uh, travel and the main menu or pressing D on the controller will bring up the area map. If a quest objective is located in that area, it will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quests. Look, Skywalker, what the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. The location of the quest objectives can also be confirmed by selecting the objective in the duty list. Well, this is so weird. Okay. The command is unavailable at the time, okay. That's got okay, tens from that dude, okay. Okay, I'm supposed to be doing a mission, huh? Choco Porter, if you came looking to hire a Choco, uh, Chocobo Porter, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Our birds are very fickle creatures and tend to become agitated around those with certain lack of demeanor. Return once you have proven you can handle yourself, and I will personally see that I will assign our best bird. Okay, attaining level 10. What level am I? I absolutely have no idea what level I'm at. I'm just gonna s like say I'm probably level one because I just started. Makes sense, you know. It would make sense. Take a Neil. S I H. I'm gonna go get me my food, guys.
that, so let's see what pay respects is. Okay. The dance. Okay. Thumbs up. Hug. No. Cry. Okay, so where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is actually awesome, though. So you can get pets, okay. Whoa, this is so weird. How much money? I only have 103, huh? Clothes? Okay. Where do I go to get me some armor? Sorry, ma'am, we're fresh out of walnuts. A myriad of items can be bought from the, bought and sold from uh, vendors all across Erosora. Purchasing an item is as simple as selecting an item from the shopkeep's inventory. When uh, while selling an item is as simple as selecting an item from your inventory or armory chest and selling and choosing sell from the subcommand menu. If you happen to have second thoughts about a sell, you can always buy back your item from the vendor, but only if you have yet to leave the, if you have yet to leave the area or log out of the game. Yo, old Gardania. Okay. Okay. Interrupted. You have no Ethernet access? You have no Ethernet access. Quick travel throughout the city will be achieved by simply passing your hand. Okay, so it's quick travel. Wait, see, I think that's an online player. Bits and all me earnings on the auguries. I am. I can now. Uh, I can now take another bed harvest. Hmm. Listen, adventurer, to your rustling leaves, the falling rivers, to the very pulse of this land, we conjurers of steel gate, fain interrupt these whispers of the elementals, and convey them to the people of Gardenia. Gardenia. Well guys, at least I get to see what it's around. I'm gonna let you guys go so I can eat and then I'll be back with another video. So bye.